G'day guys, welcome back to the channel, and yes, I am back in Spaceballs. <laughs> I'm in Star Citizen, I am not Dark Helmet. Now I know I've brought you some adventures of this game, I'm really excited about it, I always pop it into the channel when they have a new patch every now and again. And when, you know, this time we went and explored some caves, I showed you some planets, we delivered some boxes. That's the MMO part of this game, and remember, this game is still in alpha, so we've got a long way to go before it's anywhere near complete but later on this year we are going to get part one of the single player campaign which is called squadron 42 now i want to show you a couple of clips teasers they've brought out there's an old one and a brand new one they dropped just before christmas so i want to show you that to give you another side of this game and when you do the single player game it actually has repercussions in this part of the game It'll, you know, it'll give you probably reputation with the UEE and how they look at you and how your game will go. So let's have a quick look at the two clips I have for you and we'll come back and have a chat. I saw you apply to the Flight Academy again. I'm your new wingman, sir. The coil. Local scum use it for cover to launch attacks. This is their turf, so move on. Keep your eyes open. No southern moves. Who the hell are you? We're OMC. And OMC belongs to Sato Khan. Is that your boss? Are we supposed to be scared of him or something? Yeah. The OMC aren't the only ones listening into comms. Ships, we're under attack by Vandal forces. Repeat, we are under attack. There have been battles. There have been losses. Each and every one of you has proven yourself time and again. We will not lose the system. We will not fall back. Fall up, Cal. You got a point. Copy that. Tell these on me. Let's say hi. We will win. Because we have to. Okay, that first clip, I'm pretty sure a lot of you has recognized a lot of the actors in there. We have Gillian Anderson, Gary Oldman, we have Mark Hamill from Star Wars himself. So they no <laughs> Spensig spared really when you look at that. It is fantastic just watching it. That's what excites me about this game. Like, and they're holding parts back uh, on this part of the game, the universe because they don't want to give us spoilers for Squadron 42. Now they did mention the coil in that clip, which is another part, another system. It's not in this system. That is Hurston behind us. So I'd say there's another system coming this year. There's the first part of Squadron 42. Now let's look at the next teaser they dropped and have a look at that. 
oh, it blow your mind. Fantastic, on it. Now, in both clips, they show, and in the first one, they mention the Vandal. They're the enemy. They're the baddies in this game. They will have their own system, and once you fly into that system, you'll it'll be full of Vandal, and they will try and kill you. Now, they're obviously in Squadron 42 attacking our system by the looks of it, and we have to defend it. Like we have to win the fight. They say we have to win this. The tension and just looking at that like you look at triple a games nowadays none of them get me excited none of them make me want to go out and buy it and they're all way overpriced the, the last one i did want to go buy was red dead redemption and it's still way overpriced at 71 dollars and that's on special i'm sorry you're gonna to have to have it for 50 bucks or less for me if you are interested in this game i'd say at the moment hold off maybe like we're still not there it's still buggy and now the devs are on hold those. We've got some more bugs that are creeped into the new patch. So we have to wait for them to get back to fix some of them. Um, but yeah, I think it's $48 for a, a, a starter package in this game to, to be part of it. So it's, it is cheap. It is a crowdfunded game with over $250 million raised so far. The game's in alpha. It will be an MMO. We have over 2 million players now. Once it does go full release, I'm expecting this game to be the most successful MMO ever. This will 
Don't worry about World of Warcraft, Guild Wars 2. I played them both. I still play Guild Wars 2. Fantastic games, both of them. But I think this game is in alpha. We have 2,300,000 players already who have pledged, put money down. They own ships. They got a game package. And they're ready to play. And as this game goes on, you can imagine once Squadron 42, the first part is released, you'll grab another million people will join. This will be huge, this game. But I'm just saying, if you, you know, I wasn't into Star Games either or Space Games, but I do like my MMOs. I've only ever played three in my life, World of Warcraft, still play Guild Wars 2 and Star Citizen now. I have big hopes for this game. But like I'm saying, maybe you don't buy into it yet. It's still a sandbox. It does have a huge system that we have here for a lot of planets. We do have a new planet just popped in before the patch before Christmas. I haven't been there and done it. I've been there, but I haven't done a video about it yet, which I might do in the future. I just wanted to bring you this so you realize it's not just an MMO. There is going to be a single player campaign called Squadron 42. The first part of that will be released this year and that game the way you play it the choices you make make a big difference in the universe here and that is what excites me anyway guys just thought i'd bring you that only a short video hope you enjoyed it thanks for dropping by and i'll catch you on the next one Top back thruster sticking. We checked it, sir. Didn't see anything. That means either you missed something, or I'm wrong. We'll check it again, sir. Sir? Who the hell are you? Stay frosty. I'm your new wingman, sir. The name's... Ease up. You want me to learn your name? Do what I say and live long enough for me to care. That's your Gladius. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. We'll find out, sir. Let's go.